All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. I hope you're doing well. Today, we're gonna be installing a little Bluetooth device right into the cigarette lighter. Apparently, this will give me the ability to hook up my phone to the radio. I, <laughs> I've never tried one of these, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I thought I'd just bring you through the installation process. And so if anyone's ever, you know, looking for this particular device, you'll know how to set it up. This is an E46 330XI, a 2004 version of it. BMW, of course. Let me show you how to install this. This is my first time. I haven't like pre-installed it or anything, so we'll find out or we'll figure this out together. Uh, first off, here's my cigarette, cigarette thing. Pull it out. Put this guy in. So it's not going to fit this way. So what you got to do is tilt it. Pretty sure, at least. Sorry, I'm new to this too. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. It is sideways, but it does what it's supposed to do. And that's all that matters. Just grab the keys, turn on the car real fast. There we go. All right, so you can see the radio. So now we got to find a channel on the radio, a channel on the radio that has no sound. So we'll go here. Eh, it might work. I'm not sure if it has to be static or if it has to be completely quiet. I've, I've seen a couple of reviews on this and some people have the radio dead quiet and they turn it on. Some people just have it static. So so that's the volume knob apparently. And that, that's just an instant reaction when I turn the knob. There we go. So we change the station, got it. So you wanna hold in the phone button to change the station. 106.5 was where we're going. So we're going to crank it all the way to that station itself. Four, five, six, point five. Boom. Immediately, static turned off. I'm pretty sure that means this connected to that. And then we'll grab our phone here. Where's my phone? Did I bring my phone? I better. Oh, I'm recording with it. Duh. I'm going to quickly grab my phone. I have to unfortunately turn off the video for a second. Be right back. Quick update, I just set it up, I connected the Bluetooth. All you do is go on your iPhone or your Android's Bluetooth settings. Mine was called SY810, pretty random name, but either way, I clicked it, connected it up, and it immediately told me Bluetooth connected, so that was pretty great. All right, boys, we're using the Snapchat camera because when I pull out the camera app on the iPhone, I can't actually play the music at the same time, so it might be lower quality, but hey, it's working, boys. It is working, so as you can see, I got some Aries playing right now. Sounds clean. Yeah, pretty clean signal. Some people were worried about the quality uh, when I looked at the Amazon reviews, but nah, this sounds really good. It sounds way better than the actual default stereo. So if you are concerned about the quality, don't be. It's actually really, really nice. And um, yeah, that's clean. Here's another song just for reference of the speaker quality. Pretty good. Pretty good, man. If you found this helpful, I'd appreciate if you dropped a like on the video. And of course, subscribe to follow me on my car journey. This is my first car, and I plan to just, just put some serious love in this thing and make it a beast. So if that sounds interesting to you, subscribe down below, and I'll see you later, guys. Peace.